design automation. In this tutorial, we've been going to be covering electromagnetics finite element analysis, particularly using the finite element method magnetic software or FEMM. And we're going to be working on scripting with Lua. There are a number of applications that these methods can be used for, including elements of generative design, algorithmic optimization, and genetic algorithms, as well as potentially laying the foundations for further development in artificial intelligence. Simulation. Simulation is an imitation of a real world system over time and can potentially have many applications. In the context of this tutorial, some of the potential advantages for electromagnetic simulations can include designing and prototyping systems or products before they're built, working towards an optimal design, reducing costs, as well as saving time. Within the FEMM software, there's a simple way in which you can go to the File tab button and select Open Lua Script in order to open the script to automate simulation processes. This is an example of a script that could be developed and opened using that interface. So we can walk through some of the elements that would go into developing this script. So the script is can be written by any um, text editor such as Notepad, um, for FEMM, you might need to change the file extension from a text.txt .text file into a .lua file. So at the top of the file, we see how you can open an existing file and then a specific set of options that you can use to remesh um, the existing file and then um, the specific commands that will help to analyze the problem. And after that, you can calculate an output force and write those results to a file. So those are specific elements of code that would only run once. And in order to move on to automating that process, one can write an iterator to automate a for loop which steps in increments of one and underneath that there are a set of commands that help you select a region and move it, analyze the problem, calculate the output of force and write those results to a file. At the end of the file we can reset the position um, to allow the script to run again. So this is an example of how one would open that script file, and this is running in real time, demonstrating how quickly and effectively one can run simulations using scripting and allow one to automate tasks and see what the output results could be. the end of this simulation, one can open up the results file and see what was the output of the force on the linear electromagnetic device. And what one can notice is that despite increasing the size of the actual device, one may see the point of diminishing returns, where by increasing the size, one may not see an equivalent increase in force um, due to sufficient material already being present. And this speaks to how one can potentially find areas of optimization so that you can minimize material use while also optimizing the output. The shape 
should you wish to download the FEMM file in this tutorial, as well as the Lua script, in order to be able to utilize it for your own code, um, please see the link below in order to download the file. Thank you.